welcome to my channel so today i am going to share my complete interview experience with eversoft for the role of data engineer through on campus placements and from the selection process to the final hr round i will share everything in detail uh, in this video so watch this video completely if eversoft is going to conduct a campus placement in your college or if you are going to attend an off campus placement <laughs> what if i say that you have cleared all the rounds of the interview process you along with your mates and still none of you have received the offer letter like this is what happened in my college and i don't know why this happened and i have also seen in google reviews that it, they this avasoft company has did the same thing for many colleges so yeah before uh, speaking more about this let's get into the video now let me say about the company so eversoft is a 15 year old product based company headquartered in the us with its offshore development center in chennai they work on modern workplace solutions cloud computing mobility and data science basically cutting edge stuff okay now let's see who all can apply for this role so basically in my college uh, two roles were given one was data engineer and the next one was the app developer okay so for app development they basically asked about uh, javascript basics and node.js react and all those things like also mern stack okay and for data engineer role they only asked about python and data visualization tools uh like power bi and also the libraries of data data science in python like numpy and all those things they asked about that so for us for our batch for our on campus they were looking for 2026 pass outs and there were no strict cgpa cut off or no restriction on areas and all all those things they only focus on the skills and your performance in the interview rounds and now let's see about the skills that they expect from us as i told you that uh, as i have chose the data engineer role they preferred candidates with skills on sql python for data handling including pandas numpy and matplotlib and knowledge of data pipelines and basic to intermediate power bi skills <laughs> let me say about the interview process so for our on campus placement uh, there were four rounds the first one was written test second one was group discussion third one was technical interview and after that it was a final hr interview now let us see everything in detail so for the first round written test as i told there were two roles uh, one was data engineer another one was app development since uh, i choose data engineer i got the sql queries python logical reasoning and a bit of data interpretation questions uh, they were basically 60 questions i guess and 20 20 20 from each parts okay and clearing this round was pretty easy because like they only rejected 30% of the candidates almost 70% of the candidates were selected in the first round that is written test now talking about the next round which was group discussion and for the group discussion the topic was so simple they just gave situational topics the topic that was given to me and my group was uh, imagine you are a person uh, who is going to recreate the role of the female or male lead of your favorite movie so it was a quite interesting topic and there were almost 40 to 45 candidates and out of them only six people were selected and i was one of them and the selected students were uh, you know moving to next round which was the technical interview so the technical interview was quite simple but it took so long like for some candidates it even took more than 1 hour but for me it only took for like 30 minutes okay every candidate were requested to go to their respective hrs and after we go in they just gave a sheet of paper and then they ask like a basic question self introduction uh, why you choose data engineer role uh, and what do you know about eversoft 
and then they went on with the SQL and Python based questions. For me, they asked me to write the SQL queries on joins like inner join, outer join, all those things. And then uh, they asked about Python, like what do you know about Python? They asked about the init function in Python and yeah that was it and after that they again asked uh, are you okay with relocating to Chennai uh, if you were selected in this role and at the end they asked do you have anything to ask me and that was it for the technical interview and after the technical interview uh, they told that uh, the selected candidates will be asked to the HR round but after the technical interview no one were called for the HR interview. Like there were many, many candidates who performed very well, including me. Uh, I'm sure that I performed very well, but still uh, we, no one knows like why this happened or why no one was called for the final HR round. What they told was if you are selected for the role, means you will be selected in the uh, technical interview round but in our college no one was selected for the technical interview round but that doesn't mean that no one is skilled but every one of us was so skilled and we don't know what's the reason this happened and then i searched through google and i found out that this doesn't happen with only my college this has happened with many colleges with avasoft okay <laughs> That's it guys. So basically, if you clear all the rounds, as per their norms, they are offered, they offer you a six month internship with a stipend of 10k per month. And post internship, the salary is between the six to 10 LPA based on the performance. They also allow you to opt out within the first four weeks. If you uh, guess this is, this is not the right place for you. Okay, so my tip uh, for the future candidates who uh, who wish to work in Eversoft, master SQL if you're going for the data engineer role, master SQL and also polish your Python basics and be confident in group discussion. Uh, always, you know, don't always sit. Like uh, if a topic is given, try to engage and try to participate as fast as possible and practice explaining your thought process and show growth mindset. I think that's what the recruiters look for. So that's it for my Eversoft interview experience. I hope this video was helpful to you. And in future, I'll be uploading more videos on my interview experience. If so, uh, do subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you.